To be honest, it was the first time I saw a group of Anglo-Saxon or white people, however we address with proper, supporting us. And it was my first time realizing all white people were not against black people. So it was a joyous occasion for me to participate. Okay. Um, do you remember the speech and any lines that you I have you a resonate? dream and one day, just one day, I will reach the mountaintop. And all of God's children, black, white, Jews, Gentile, will all be one. In many ways, yes, it did come true. In many, many ways. However, of course, you know we are still in the struggle. We're still fighting the battles. We're still trying to integrate into a society that did not accept us in the beginning. So there was a lot of, of, of white people in the movement, all right, walking right alongside Dr. Martin Luther King. A lot of white people took blows like we did. A lot of white people sacrificed. So this was an American movement. So we elected a black man to hold the highest office in the land twice. That made me believe in the ideal of America even more so. And, and listen, Martin Luther King dream is coming true in those kinds of respects. And now we, we can't be discriminated against because of where we live. Uh, you can live in where you want to live now. Uh, you can go to any school that you want to into, go to now. Uh, live in any neighborhood, marry anybody that you want. The most important thing of Martin Luther King's work to me is that it is a continuous effort that we must continue to press on, that we can't take justice for granted. It is something that we must continue to work for every day. With the growth of white supremacist movements, with hate movements, it's, it's, it's sometimes saddening. And so the fight for justice is not necessarily about one race or another. It's about all human beings being entitled to just and fair and equal opportunity. And uh, so it's, there's a great concern that we're moving backward. The Voting Rights uh, Act has been curtailed, uh, but there was a victory in the Supreme Court. In the same uh, session, they rolled back affirmative action. Diversity is our power! So it's pretty cool to see that there's diversity everywhere, and that's possible because of people like Martin Luther King, like Abraham Lincoln, like Mahatma Gandhi. And it just goes to show you that one person can actually make a difference. Thank you, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Black and proud. Man.